guys, welcome back. Welcome back to week two of Body Ready Boot Camp. I apologize sincerely about not having been able to do the Body Ready Boot Camp last week. I did a walk for the American Cancer Society where I didn't plan on walking 11 miles, but I ended up walking 11 miles, which was fantastic. Um, but in the process of walking, and I was one of the people walking overnight, I actually strained the muscle in the front of my foot, and I also strained the muscle on the side of my knee. So I had to wait at least a few days to get that better. I didn't want to push myself and re-injure it or make it worse. So I thought it would be better to delay it a week than try it and get hurt even worse. So thank you, and thank you very much for continuing to watch or exercise while I was away last week. So anyway, these are the, oh, ooh, hot today, very hot today. These are the exercises for week two. The stretch is going to be basically a basic towel stretch, wherever my towel went, there it is. Um, the cardio, we're going to be using steps, the steps in your house. If you live in an apartment, maybe the steps in your hallway or a fire escape. Uh, if you live in a ground level house, you will have to find steps somewhere else, maybe in a park or somewhere where there's steps. Um, the legs is going to be a horse stance or uh, a plie, I think it's called. Um, the abs are going to be a reverse crunch, and the arms are going to be arm circles with what I call house weights. Um, most of these exercises are based on people that have no gym equipment. Um, I'm basing this from a beginner standpoint, but if you have gym equipment or you're more advanced than that, feel free to use the proper hand weights or whatever it is. The things that I call house weights are things that you have around your house. So let's get started. Okay. All right. So we're going to start out with a towel stretch. I took a basic beach towel, a bathroom towel, whatever you need to use. And you're just going to, you know, roll it up to where it feels comfortable, you know, for your hand to grip around it. You're going to bring that over your head. Your arms are not completely locked. This is not a strained exercise. The arms should be outstretched, but they should be soft. They should not be locked. Um, the important thing about this is keeping your core in, core in, not sucked in, tightened is what I should say. This should remain straight. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your arms up over your head. This is going to stretch your obliques through your side and you're going to go to the side and you're going to hold that for five. You're going to come up, you're going to do the other side. I'm going to move over here so I don't hit the wall come up and then you're going to do this side for five and you're going to continue to do that for at least ten stretches on each side um, and you will feel the stretch straight through here it's important to stay straight though and not to bend around at the waist to get more range of motion it's not about how far you can stretch it's about feeling the stretch and when you feel the stretch and it feels like a good stretch that's where you need to stop not to go past it because you can pull things in in your rib cage you can pull things in your hip so you don't want to do that so let's see mm, the legs this week is going to be a like a horse dance type thing um i took karate at one point bear with me primitive setup here um the legs this week is going to be a horse stance or a plie it's going to work the quads and what you're going to do is you're going to start out and your legs at about a 45 degree angle and you're going to drop into, I guess this is called a table, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But if you're a beginner, you can keep your hands on your knees to balance yourself, but you should feel the whole tops of your legs tighten and you're working your quads right through here. And then you're going to hold that for about 15 seconds, come up drop back down into it. Like I said, if you're a beginner, you can put your hands on your legs. If you're intermediate or advanced, you're going to want to put your hands in the middle and support yourself completely through your legs. So you're going to keep your hands in the middle. It's important to keep the body straight. Do not bend over. Do not hunch over. You can end up pulling stuff in your hips and in your back. You're going to hold that for 15 and come up. Drop back down into that, and that is going to work straight through your quads. And you can feel it a bit in your calves, but it's mainly working your quads. So the next exercise we're going to do is the arm exercise. Okay. And what I said, what I mean when I, <laughs> I say house weights is that cans of stuff. My cans happen to be <laughs> family-sized cream of mushroom <laughs> and family-sized baked beans. Um, these cans are about a pound 
pound and a half each and that's great for a beginner you don't want to start out too heavy you want to work your way up to heavier hand weights if you have hand weights you can start at whatever's comfortable for you but these happen to be one and a half pounds so you're going to put your arms out to the side and you're going to start with small arm circles probably do 20 of them and then you're going <laughs> to I'm going to like hit stuff in my hallway then you're going to move into medium arm circles about 20 of them as well and you can feel this straight through your arms your shoulders through your pecs it's important not to lock the arms like I said keep them keep them somewhat stretched out but soft you can hurt your elbows if you don't you can hurt your wrists as well if things get too heavy for you your arms start to get sloppy and then on the third rotation you're going to do large arm circles and you're going to do about 20 of them as well and then you can take a rest for about a minute or so stretch your arms out put your hand weights down loosen your muscles up loosen the muscles up so that you don't get too much of a buildup of lactic acid which can be really painful stretch them out loosen them out it's important to do that pick up your house weights or your hand weights again and then start over again with the arm circles the next thing we are going to do is oh we're going to do the abs for this week which i absolutely love this exercise i'm hoping that this can get the floor pretty well this week's abs exercise is a reverse crunch so what you're going to do is you're going to lay on your back with your legs bent um if you're a beginner you can put your arms out right by your sides and use it for balance if you're more intermediate or advanced you can put your arms over your head because you will have most of this core strength already for balance so what you're going to do is you're going to bring your knees towards your chin and kind of lift your butt up to the ceiling a little bit and you're going to pull in straight through your abs you're trying to bring your knees up this is not a forced thing you're tightening all of your core muscles and your abs and you're bringing your your knees to your chin and you're bringing you're lifting your butt up towards the ceiling and what you're going to do is you're going to do 15 or 20 or whatever is a workout for you I find this to be much easier than doing regular crunches and it tends to work all of the abdominal muscles not just a specific set so you're going to do as many as them as you can and that's the reverse crunch and remember to take a rest in between when you're starting to get tired or you feel that burn you don't want to overdo it because you can end up hurting yourself so the last exercise for this week is the cardio and this is what you're going to do you're going to use a set of steps I'm starting at the top but you're going to want to start at the bottom of your steps and it's a jog down jog back up jog down every other step jog up jog down so it's going to look like this you're going to jog down the steps you're going to jog back up when you get to the top instantly turn go back down this is every other step every other step come on up jog back down Woo. My phone's ringing. How lovely. <laughs> so with that, what you're going to do is the every other step is only going to be one time. So that is the exercises for this week. If you have any questions for me, if you have any comments or if there's anything that you want me to do or do you'd like to see, email me, comment me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So uh, I hope you enjoyed week two. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.